Hello, this is Alex from the API Portal R&D team and today I'm going to demonstrate uh, the customization options of the new release of the API Portal uh, November 2022. Now, this release comes with the uh, totally new UI and uh, new look and feel and this new UI is based on the T4 page builder Jumo component. It's a component that provides um, drag and drop basically a drag and drop uh, based UI uh, for for customizing Joomla pages um, it's very easy to use and uh, it requires none or a minimal a minimum amount of uh, technical skills uh, okay so all the pages of the API portal are now based on this uh, T4 uh, page builder component so that it's easier for our customers to to customize them. Now in this video I'm gonna sh quickly show you some of the customization options because they are a, a lot. I cannot show you all of them but I'll give you an idea on how you can uh, very easy and quickly customize your API portal. Okay let's begin. First I'm gonna show you how to customize a static uh, page, one of the static pages of the API portal. Uh, for example this one, how it works. It's static because its content is, uh, is static. It's not dynamically fetched from uh, anywhere. Okay, let's go. Uh, how it works page. So uh, we need to go to the Joomla admin interface. And uh, here in the component section, uh, there is a new menu item called T4 page builder. I go there and click on all pages. Here is the list of uh, four API portal pages. Now I need to find the page that I want to edit. This is how it works. Okay, I click on the edit page button and uh, the editor for that page will will uh, uh, will open. Okay, here it is. So uh, let's start to do some changes. For example, I don't want this to be called register. I want to be uh, called sign up. So I just change the title here. Let's say this paragraph, I don't want it. Uh, let's try switching places of this image and of this text here. So I just move it like here. You see, it's a, it's a simple uh, move, move operations that I'm doing here. And let's try moving this. A little bit up, okay. Uh, okay, save. Uh, the page is now saved in the editor. Uh, as you can see, there are plenty of options here. Um, I'm not gonna go through them because it's gonna be too long of a video, uh, but um, you can play with them. Uh, it's a really, really powerful tool. Now let's refresh here and as you can see that with uh, a, a small amount of effort I, I um, achieved actually a different uh, layout of this page. Okay, now let's go and um, customize one of the, of the dynamic pages of the API portal. For this purpose I will have to log in. For the purposes of this uh, demo video, I uh, I chose to uh, work with the applications page, application catalog page. So I go again into the T4 page builder um, all pages menu item. And I find my page here. I will look for my page here, which is application catalog. Okay, edit page. Again, the editor is taking some time to load. Okay, now, uh, as you can see, uh, there is the title here, the text here, and there is a block of something down below. Um, we can't see actually the applications. This nothing of this is not shown here. 
because it is part of this model, the one that is rendered here. So I can uh, change the title, for example, here. Um, let's say, for example, application catalog. I can do some changes here, but you know, gonna be small changes actually. Okay, refresh. Okay, the title is changed. Um, but I actually want to do changes for this part of the page. So now with this release, uh, the API portal utilizes the power of models, the Joomla models. I'm not gonna go into further into details about Joomla models here. If you're interested, you can read about them. But they are basically a block of, of um, a, a representational type of features uh, for Joomla. And um, now everything dynamically fetched for the API portal is based on models. So for that page, the model is called Applications Catalog. So I need to, if I want to do some customizations on the dynamic part of the page, I need to go to the uh, to system site models and I have to find my uh, model uh, which is called applications catalog I open it and as you can see I have some options here um, for example uh, let's say I don't want my users to be able to create applications from the API portal I don't want uh, to show the table layout, just the list and the tile layout. And let's say I don't want to uh, show sort buttons, for example. Okay, uh, save. And when I refresh the page here, I see that I have no create button here. I have no uh, option for the table layout here. And I have no sort option. Of course, I can always uh, uh, get them back. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Uh, so all the dynamic pages, applications, APIs, users related, uh, the most important pages of the of the API portal are now based on on this combination of T4 page builder elements and the Joomla models element. So by combining customizations into the uh, T4 page builder component uh, and the model itself, you can achieve a good level of, um, of customization of your page. And uh, we believe that that gives our customer a good level of uh, flexibility. Okay, uh, let's continue with uh, the other type of customizations that are possible with the new release of the API portal. And this is the customizations that you can do on the whole template style. Uh, for this purpose, you need to go again to the system, uh, site template styles. So here, uh, as you can see, it is selected T4 default as the default template style, but you can notice that this T4 page builder style uh, is actually a, uh, the one that is assigned to the all 18 pages. I'm not gonna display. I'm not gonna explain the difference between those two styles. It's basically the same. Uh, this one is uh, used for all non T4 uh, based. Um, pages and this one is for non t4 page builder based pages sorry and this one is used for um, actually all the pages because all of the api portal pages are t4 page builder based so the first thing that i need to do because i'm going to do some customization is to duplicate this template here so that i have a backup uh, now i'm going to work with this uh, copy. I open it and it renders another type of editor here. Again, very easy to use. Okay, um, let's first go to this 
skin color is the easiest thing that you can change and immediately see on your site. So this is with T4 page builder, uh, pages are SAS based, means that um, it's uh, like CSS on steroids. <laughs> uh you have variables here so uh, basically css variables so i would uh, first do a copy of this uh color team here uh it's the default one actually that ships with this uh, with the api portal but i'll do my own copy of it and let's say i say i call it actually copy just for the sake of the backup uh, then I click edit and uh, those are the variable variable names here and for example uh, if I want to change this this button here I will change this danger variable to something like I don't know something like uh, this one okay uh, let's say I want to change this primary color to something more green okay as you can see it's immediately um, reflected here on the right side um, now I click save okay let's let's for this danger I don't like this color let's use some in yellow I know yellow is not about danger but for the purpose of this demo, I would like to make it more colorful. Okay, yeah. Well. So then I click save. Um, and uh, because I, I did uh, a change on the copy of this uh, template style, uh, it's a copy and it's not used actually right now. So I need to to uh, instruct the API portal to start using it. So I'll go here on the menu assignment and I'll actually uh, say use this style for all my uh, menu items or all my pages. Okay, uh, I click save. Mm. Actually, I click save and close. And if I go, uh, I did some changes on the home page, so I go on the home page. As you can see, all my uh, customizations are here. You see how easy it was to, to change those colors. Um, again, there are plenty of options to change there. Just uh, I encourage you to play with them and find your best look and feel for the, your API portal. Now, the last thing that I would like to uh, to show you for uh, for the one that for those of you that actually has some has technical skills uh, you can actually uh, directly you can actually uh, directly write SAS uh, uh, SAS code or CSS code so for that purpose you need to again um, edit your uh, style and click on tools here here you have this edit custom sas uh, and when you click on edit button you see this custom style tab here now here you can uh, write your custom css or sas uh, let's say i want to do some changes on the Login page, for example. Um, so I'll just, for the purposes of this demo, I'll quickly uh, pick up an element from this page. Let's say I want to do some changes with this block here containing the uh, sign in form. So it's like this element holding it. I'll copy this class name. And say uh, something like or 
green, for example. I want those colors to get green. Okay. I click save and compile, which means that the, uh, it's going to be compiled to SAS. Uh, uh, actually, it's going to be compiled to CSS code. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter, it's actually a CSS code. It could have been a SAS code. And um, so you always need to save and compile. Okay. So when I refresh here, I expect, yeah, uh, those those labels here uh, to be in green, and they are in green. So uh, again, you can write whatever uh, CSS code you like here. And um, so uh, this this was a quick uh, walk through the uh, T4 Page Builder customization options. Again, there are plenty of them. Uh, it's not possible to show all of them in one demo video uh, and again i encourage you to go uh, fetch the new release of the api portal and start playing with these customization options thank you for watching uh, bye bye